Welcome to the Jazz Narration! Hello and welcome to the Giants Nail Races Second Life Birthday Edition. We're celebrating Second Life's ninth birthday today because Second Life is nine years old. And that's like about a year older than me. And we're all looking down in the corner. Someone's down there doing something. <laughs> Stop that. Stop that. Okay, and next to me in the booth here is uh, Tindai Susir. Say hi, Tindy. Hi, Tindy. And wave. And wave yeah. would be good too. Wait, I can't. I, you can't. Yeah, you're, you're not waving. There we go. There we go. Now you're you just you just gotta you're not you're gonna whatever. Right. Okay. Anyway, Happy birthday, about, Second Life. Let's see if Salem can make herself wave. Say hi, Salem. Hello, hello. I am Salem, and we are here to celebrate all that is the second of life. She's the one and that's not waving. Oh, she's bowing at least. Okay. I'm bowing. Well, she's, she's holding her. Bear. She's holding a bear. That's yeah. why. I'm holding the I love Second Life SL9B bear. <laughs> Jeez. That's a long title for a bear. Hey, hey, Salem, why don't you tell us who's out there for our second chance race of the day? Right away, racer, and so let's get to our first snails, and that would be the uh, purple snail in the red spot, Baldy McMillan, our haberdasher of the snail stars. In the red scarf, we have the returning snail, Alden Cortez, who's <laughs> sitting in the purple spot, because Baldy is... Going crazy. Crazy, All the crazy. The blue scarf is on the neck of Oodle Me Noodle. Welcome back, Oodle Me. In the green, well, no green. We have no, no cyan. But we have a yellow scarf snail, and that is um, Chronometria. Chronometria. Mm -hmm. Chronometria. Our new snail yes. today. Doing great. Great. Aren't no one in the arms, but we do have the pink scarf yep. of Gareth Eight Albatross. Who was just barely edged out by Tendalia Sister. Let's see how he does in the second chance race. Those are snails. It is not time. What annoying oh, bastards. Tindy and the button. <laughs> okay. That's a good gesture, you annoying bastards. All right. Uh, Tindy, why don't, Tindy why, why is your head missing now? All I see is hair. What do you mean my head is missing? Uh, it's like your head texture disappeared. Yes, uh, her head is gone. <laughs> that's too bad. Okay, anyway, just hit the button. Just, just let's get on with the show. That sounds being stupid. Maybe, maybe your head will come back later. Oh, it looks better from the side. <laughs> the invisible head girl. I don't know why it's being so stupid today. Uh, it's just the crowd. There's, we're under a lot of pressure here. Okay, that was that. And then uh, we're looking at this. And the crowd. And the crowd's still meow, mostly meow, here, three. yay! Meow meow two, one, meow! You made it, you're on TV. You're gonna be on Treat TV later this week, because you were here today. And we have blasted the wall with some ice cream and soda, and it is go, go, snails! On Devon Dream for race number one, our first, second chance. How many of these snails do you think are going on to the final? <laughs> uh, I think every one of them. All of them? <laughs> yes. It did look like we were going to we leave some out, but they, they left themselves out earlier. And where's our new snails from last week? Right <laughs> here. Wow. Well, we had some classic snails come back. Did you see what Udlemy just did? He just like floated through the side of the tank and lagged all the way onto the other side. Yes, wow. lag is definitely growing here at the Giants Snail Races. So our snails are taking off high up in the sky and getting hit by Alden the... Alden is in the lead. Oh, but uh, Gareth, I think, has to run back to get three. Did Gareth get three? Yeah, probably. Yes, you did. There's you to me. Uh, they all need the fourth checkpoint, and they're all getting into the movie maze. The fourth the checkpoint is right on the other side of the maze. Yes, the movie maze is, uh, of course, as you can see, moving walls in this room that have confused an advantage and disadvantage many a snail. 
It looks like we, it looks like who's that coming up uh, last? That would be the yellow scarf of uh, Chrono. Chrono but he's catching up on Udemy quickly here. Udemy um, stuck in a wall. I'm not sure how to get out. There he goes. Gareth gets to the top. Oh yeah, one of our audience members was a uh, Griffin. Griffin, right? Griffin. He's taking up a lot of screen place right now. <laughs> okay, then uh, Gareth's in the lead. Alden's in second. Baldy's in third. Yes, Alden wasn't doing very well during the qualifiers earlier uh, today, and uh, looks like she's uh, learned. Uh, where she's gone wrong and, and is Baldi has fallen into the shark well. tank. Oh, Baldi. Oh, uh, Baldi. But he at least has got the, one. Uh, yes. yes. He's just got to climb out. And looks like she's taking over the lead. Yes, Alden Cortez is taking the lead now. Hmm. She's keeping up with uh, the leaders, and now she is leading this race. Oh, and now we still have some snails crossing the uh, shark tank. Go, go. Esco, Looks go, like uh, go, Chronometria go, has Esco, taken go. over. Uh, and uh, our uh, Noodle is uh, still lagging behind the others. Okay. We have Alden now going, leaving the uh, moving maze and going on to the dreaded ramp of doom. With, uh, this is our second, our second lap, right? We still got one looks more like, lap to go. Yeah, looks like Gareth's going to try for the spring. Gareth, it's not going to help him because Alden's already far enough ahead. No. Well, no, no. no, no. no. Oh, 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 he does. Remember, he's the spring master. Yes, he is the spring master. And he's passed Alden. Gareth is winning the season so far this year. He just won last season. And well, and we don't know who's quite winning this season because this is the first race. Yeah, season. this is the first race of the new season. The fourth, fourth season. Fourth? Are we on the fourth already? Yeah. Yeah, we skipped the third. We did the second one twice. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that when I started updating the uh, leaderboard. So I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> There's already a second second go, season go. here. Yeah. Go, go, Oops. Go. Oh. <laughs> Nobody caught that. We went like went for like oh. two months doing those second season it's like, again. It's like we only pulled a Gareth eight and <laughs> took over, took over the spot. Udemy is ahead of Gareth now. I think Udemy is a lot behind Gareth. Right? What is going uh, on here? I mean, Udemy pulled a Gareth on on the on um, Chronometria. Just tell He's us what's spring. happening. Udemy <laughs> right. used to spring and got ahead. Yeah, okay. Yes. Ahead of Gareth? No, ahead of Kronos. Ahead of Kronos, okay. Is 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 Alden in the lead right now? It looks like it. Yes, Alden is yes, in the Alden lead. In the in the lead. The oh. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Hurry, turn around, Alden. Lost a little a little, a little ground bit there. there. Yeah, that's not good. Especially if, if Gareth decides to try the spring. Gareth thing, goes you know? for the spring and it works for him. Alden's gonna oh, go oh, for the spring. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, and Gareth's gonna and it's oh! <laughs> Come on, Alden. Come on, work for Alden. Yay! Yay that yes. might help, but I doubt it. Oh, no. Oh, she gets oh, bounced. Down. Oh, well. Still, second place is good. There's Gareth. And Alden. Here comes Baldi. And Baldi's not going to wait for those snails this time. <laughs> Baldi gets third. And now it's down to Udemy and Kronos. Come on, Chronometria. So it looks like uh, oh, Udemy is the maze. Chronometria is still trying to uh, fight with it. Getting out of the maze there, any sec. Let's see. Come on, Chronometria. Yes. There it is. All oh, right. oh, good. Oh. Right. <laughs> me was trying to get the spring to work. Let's see if he does. Oh. And Kronos has taken the lead. 
Oodle Me is gonna try this spring one more time here. It's too late. It's too late. Oh wait. Grandma's almost got stuck. Ooh, it's close. Comes down to the better landing here. Whoever doesn't face plant might be the winner. They both face planet. They both face planet and Chrono Meteor takes fourth place. Recap. And Computer and open up your mind as Pookie Amsterdam and Hydra Shaft will broadcast from inside the studio dome located on the futuristic lands in Second Life. Yes, it is the first question, a fast-paced science theme show with the best and brightest as contestant to answer these deep questions of the world, the universe, and all that is in between. Okay, this week, I noticed I'd been calling this whole whole season, season two, when in fact we were on season three. So anyway, season three, here we go. Uh, Gareth A won season three because he had four first places. And that has 52, just like Tendaya Soothsayer. But Tindy only had two first places. And then uh, Safra, who didn't race today, I'm not sure why. Some personal reason or something. Safra... Did very well and got third, and I'm very proud of her. Okay, and then Baldi. Baldi got fourth for the season. Industria got fifth for the season. Alden got sixth for the season. Moto Gaffer got seventh for the season. And Lycurgus had eighth. And one of our new snails from last week managed to get on our, on our uh, leaderboard here. He got ninth place. And... Uh, and uh, and I got 10th place. And me and all the snails above me are now on the championship board. If they weren't already. And then our other new snail. Ooh, blurry name here. Why isn't this loading? Kira Zobo. Kira Noble. Zobo. Another new yeah. snail came in 11th for the season. And David Crum came in 12th. 12th. He's another new snail. Didn't show up today. Little Me Noodle came in uh, last for the season. And, uh, okay, now we're on season four. Season four, season four. There, now I should remember. Okay. And now we go up to, uh, Salem and the best of show. Right away, Racer. And, oh, in our best in show, we had two sweet snails in our best in show. And, of course, you know, <laughs> one of them is our very balloony, very light on her feet, Alden Cortez. Yes, this is a sweet little snail. And uh, she looks so festive in that shell. And of course, the our, uh, best in show is gonna have to go to the one, the only Tendale Soothsayer. Yes, that is one great snail. I'm happy. I'm happy every time I look at this shell. Oh my goodness! All the detail, the uh, the work, and the hat. Ooh, and I like that top on her. So those are that's our best in show. Mm -hmm. It's now back to racer and snail. I am very disappointed. Hello, and this is the part of the show where we tell we tell snail dude to get in the cannon so we can shoot him over to the uh, bucket on the other side. And snail dude always tries to hide over there behind the uh, podium, but uh, that's really not a very good hiding place. Uh, I saw some <laughs> Japanese kids playing hide and seek once, and it looked just about that bad. Okay, get in this. Get it. Get, go ahead and get in there, Snail. Get in that cannon. There we go. He's in there. Cooperative Snail dude. Prepare to be astonished. Sometimes, sometimes he makes it. Sometimes he doesn't. We'll see what happens here. Oh, it looks like it's moving right. very slowly today. He's up. He's up. There's some extra light. Oh, and he's at the oh. top of the... He skipped the spot. I think we had someone <laughs> TP into the sim. He's coming down. 
Oh, we landed oh. on the sparkler. Oh, that's not good. Ow. Oh, oh that is just too bad. He'll, uh, he'll be back with us next week. We'll get him fixed up, and uh, that'll be great. We're gonna Wonder another that was great snow, dude. Woo! We'll, we'll see you all next week. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, you know what else we could do here? No, wait. Put me, put me, get me back to the balloon. All right. Uh, you're sitting in my Stand seat, up. but okay. <laughs> okay, watch this. See this, see this birthday cake? Five, four, three, two, one. Happy SL ninth birthday. That's a, that's a griffin wing in there. If you're wondering. <laughs> There's also a big claw on the other side. I wonder what that is. Okay, and there's our that's on my birthday. We had two cakes though, so that's not all of it. There's still more more to come. There's the other one. Happy birthday, SL nine B. <laughs> Second life. Second life's ninth birthday. Let them eat cake. Have some cake. Have some exploding cake. It's yummy black on the inside. It's yummy black flavor. Chocolate cake flavor. with the white icing. That was great. And a hint of Woo! I was almost had time to get in the right seat there. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'll do that later. Okay. Um, which I need to hit some of these buttons, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Attention oh, racers, racers, please. Salomon Stellis is out there for our well, final well, race of the day. Yes, we're right now. Race of the day. <laughs> you are a smelly <laughs> pirate we hooker. We go with our uh, first <laughs> snails, our haberdasher of the snail stars, the always wacky, the always jumpy, Baldy McMillan in the red scarf. It is Alden Cortez. In the blue scarf, we will find Umi Noodle. In the uh, lovely uh, green, it is uh, Tendaya Soothsayer. No one in cyan in the yellow scarf. You, know, you don't have to announce find... the ones that no one's on, you know? <laughs> we could just skip over oh, those. Just just a thought. And okay. then, well, I'm going to still do it that way. Chronometria in the yellow scarf. In the orange scarf, it is Gareth Aid Albatross. And last but not least, Step Avro is wearing the pink. So those are our snails. It is time for the button. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Did, did you hear that, that that gesture a minute ago? You don't have gestures turned on, right? Someone said you smelled like a a, a pirate or something. Anyway, go ahead. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was a good gesture. Smell You're a like smelly a pirate? pirate. A smelly pirate. I think it's, I think is what it said. You're a smelly pirate. Okay. SL9B birthday bear and jump! You sink into the ground. Let's see how much crowd is left. There's that griffin. Yay! We still have some of our crowd. Meow, 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 three, meow, meow, two, one, Crowd of snails, that is. Let's see who makes it up the spring here. Oh, about, about half. Death goes back for the spring, the rest just climb the hill. It's like Gareth and Cindy in the lead. And there's Alden and uh, Depth in the back. Yes. Steph is definitely bringing up the rear. And so they go through the uh, on-ramp, through the gates, and onto the springs that quickly. Our leaders get clocked in the head as they land at checkpoint number three. 
I turned off the top mushroom in checkpoint three because to make it easier for the new people. That was nice of you. There's not that bouncy landing there. No. Tindy and Gareth are shell and shell as they're going to. Oh, oh Tindy, Tindy shuts gets... out Gareth. And it looks like Dep Babro is catching up with Gareth. Little Me Needle's stuck in a little uh, tiny hole there. Uh, he's finally opened up the door, but he's gone the wrong way to get out. And... Like Gareth. Oh! oh. Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gareth finally gets some lift. I think it's too late though. He's way far out there now. Yes, yeah, she has started her uh, second lap and is already making her way up to the shark tank. Let's see how everyone else is doing. <laughs> yes, go check on everybody else. Kronos in second to last behind ahead of New Idlumi. Yes. So there goes our snails heading for the shark tank. Meanwhile, Tim Dahlia sits there is about to take off and land at checkpoint number three. Gareth and Albatross is yes, just getting to the uh, roadblock and is launching to checkpoint number three as well. But he's still pretty far behind Tindy. This, uh, this is a gap that he may not be able to uh, close between him and Tindy. Lag there, let's see what Oh yes, definitely. Big lag. He's got to hope for a good passage through the moving maze to catch up to Tindy. Oh! Cindy just uh, puts more real estate between her and Gareth. Oh yes, they're just landing at checkpoint. Oh, what in the world is Udomi doing? <laughs> Looked like he did the maximum length of the launch there and, and then landed at... Was that the other side of the pan? <laughs> He's got some, some way of doing that, that I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. In the meantime, Tendai Cesar just started her way across the shark tank for the last time on her third and final lap. Some people really didn't like the SL9B uh, graphic. That's the thing about that. Really? They said it looked like little kids did it or something. I think it looks fine. Yeah. <laughs> looks fine to me. <laughs> Oh, wow. I think I think it was from the person that didn't get their uh, artwork picked or something. Ah. <laughs> we know we know a bunch of people who uh, who <laughs> are not taking any responsibility for this year's SL9B. Mm, would that be Londons? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Londons didn't come to their one thing. They didn't have an opening speech. They didn't tell us about a bunch of crap that's coming out this year. And I see Say is making her way through the moving maze while all of our other snails are just starting the third lap. They didn't, they didn't provide any sims for us. <laughs> How nice. Yeah. But uh, somebody somebody, fest, somebody donated a whole bunch of sims to, for the uh, SL9B and we have a presence over there. It's over yes, near the welcome area. You can you can get a free tiny snail over there for that is, that is just available for a limited time. I think, the, I think it's over tomorrow or the next day. Yes, Cindy takes the win. Yes, yes. Our president, you can take a look at uh, all of our snail community uh, race cards. Snail past and present. Yes. Being represented over there at, at Well, not quite all of them because we just yeah, didn't have we didn't have room for all of them. We only got, had like 256 prims or something. Yeah. Just, the, just the major players, I think. I don't think Gareth Oodle, I don't think Oodle's card is over there. And he takes second. Second place, yay! Oodle me, Oodle me took second. No, yes. Gareth. Gareth, okay. Gareth took second. took third. Fifth 
Music and Sounds Place and... are in the movie maze. Oh, Def has a uh, sponsor show. We never mentioned who's, who her sponsor was. Okay, what? Let's see if oh. you can come over to her show and see what her sponsor's name is. Alright. He used to have a thing where you paid like 900 bucks or 900 minutes get to have a, a sponsor show and she bought one of those a long time ago. And it's uh, Nation's Band. Nation's Band, yes. <laughs> Here comes Jep. Oh, we'll have to get her to give us a card next time so we'll know what to say about that. And the other side it has a Ooh, ooh! Partnership with Kronos just fell through the ramp and lost his place there to, to oodle me. Ooh! That happens sometimes. So that's another has to do that ramp. Oodle me takes six minutes. And here comes uh, Chronometria. Chronometria coming up to the top. Heavy winds on your sound. Yay! Hey, the Griffin is in a good spot right now. For recap! No, okay. first, we have Tendani Soothsayer. In second place, it is Garazade Albatron. In third, we find Bobby McMillan. Holly Cortez is in the fourth spot. Came in fifth was Jeff Avro. And sixth place, we find Bobby Middle. Seventh place, and finally, it was Chronometria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, let's see, this is the time us now we're in. No, wait, no. Now you have Just to do the bo boxes first. Get the boxes <laughs> up there. Okay, and the boxes have been raised. Snails, get on those boxes. There's yellow boxes. Toward the yeah. middle is best. Do we get all our snails on the boxes? Looks like yes, it looks like we're all set. Okay. This now is the tame on snail racing when we dance. Yay! And next week. Next week is a crazy race. You we're good. You are a pirate. I think that's the best friend in honor of Kronos. <laughs> Thank you, Kronos, for coming and being a pirate ship. Okay, um, next week we're, we're going to have a, a special relay for you race. You are a smelly pirate hooker. <laughs> and you are a smelly pirate hooker. Okay, and then uh, we're going to, we're going to, it's going to be for Relay for Life, and uh, it's going to be one of those uh, races across the map. We're, we're racing across uh, the, the, the Bay City, Bay City map, and we, we have, it's going to be a scavenger type hunt thing. It'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, let's say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> this great watch then. Comes up by your little pills. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>